Thank you for dropping by. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to compare duplicate timelines. So we duplicated a timeline and the reason for that is we may want to keep this one to render out as our final product, but we're just going to experiment with another one. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do huge edits, but I want to move this section down here. So first of all, I'm actually going to change the color of this clip. So I want to move that one. Um, I also want to move this one. So I'm going to change the color of the clip. Um, we, let's, we want to move that one. So you may add clips or you may take away clips, but I'm just doing this, changing the color. So when we look at the comparison, we can see. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to hold down control and shift, and then I'm going to drag it and this is replace. So it's going to move it in place. I'm going to move this one. So I highlight it, control and shift and drag it down here and I can drop it in the middle and it'll make a cut. This one again, highlight it, control and shift. I'm going to pop it in here. So now, as you can see, we've got a completely different edit compared to this one. You may have brought in new clips. You may have changed clips, swap clips, etc. And if you color code them as you're doing that, then you're going to see the next bit really, really easy. It's going to make some room on the screen. Uh, I'm going to make them the same length. Control and Z. Control and Z. Whoops. We've actually got the two timelines on the screen. Let's just tidy the screen up. Don't want that distracting anything. <coughs> We could compare here, but it's not that logical. If we haven't changed the color of the clips, we may not know exactly what we're doing. And all you do is highlight the new copy. So click inside the timeline of the new copy, come to your media pool, and then your timeline, your first timeline, not your timeline duplicate, right click. And you've got here, compare with current timeline. If we select that, we get this pop-up window. Just gonna reduce the size and here oops in here we've got our edits so this shows that we took this section and we moved it here and then we took this section and moved it here this section and moved it here and this is showing the difference now we actually cut this bit so we dropped a video in that and we cut it so it's here so that's the differences and as you make longer complicated timelines, this is really good. And you can scrub through and you can see in the viewer. So that's the image there. And then in this viewer. So you can compare the timelines. This will play in viewer one, this will play in viewer two, but it's a different, the difference between the timelines. You can have an index. We can bring it up and actually bring this up, what the differences are. So we've got an in and out cut on timeline one and the in and out cut on timeline two has changed. So instead of being one minute, 27 seconds and four frames, it's now 34 seconds and 11 frames. So that's useful. This, uh, I think this needs a bit of tweaking because it always falls off the screen and I don't think you can resize it. So it always falls off the screen up here. We can pick the tr a track that we want to compare. Base track three is just a solid color. It's the same on each. So it's not going to compare them. Track one, video one, is my track that I'm editing. So that gives you all the information. And then you can actually sync the playheads. So as I move this, it moves in both viewers so really handy little pop-up box so you can compare duplicate timelines so that's it for this video thank you very much for spending the time watching this video and enjoy the rest of your day